Hello dear friends of class 9 students. Welcome to my channel Grammarian Vai. And today we will discuss practice paper 12. So here is the practice paper 12. You can go through the questions that is here. I will deal only about the question number 4 and rest of the questions. So here is the question number 4. So go through by the passage. So let me begin directly with the answers. So here, question number 4a, here is the meaning of the given word. So the first one is intervene. Intervene means interrupted. Second, anguish. Anguish means fear. Third one, unappeasable. That means anger that could not be controlled. Number B, answer the following questions briefly in your own words. So, so the question is, why did Madame Henry visit the cottage of the two witches? So the answer is, Madame Henry visited the cottage of two witches because she did not have any child and wanted to adopt two witches son Charlotte. Second one, what enticement did madam henry offer to the two witches for adopting their son charlotte so the answer is she offered to deposit a sum of 20000 francs in the name of charlotte and pay a pension of 100 francs a month to charlotte's parents till their death Number three, why did the Valens agree to let Madame Henry adopt their son Joan? So the answer is, the Valens agreed to let Madame Henry adopt their son Joan foreseeing the future of their son and his happiness and the money that they would get up, he would come back to them. Number four, what difference came in the financial condition of the Valens and of the two Vatches after Joan's departure? So the answer is, after Joan's departure with Madame Henry, the financial condition of the Valens improved and they started living a comfortable life with the money they started getting as pension from Madame Henry. The Two Vatches, on the other hand, led a miserable life. Number five, what was Charlotte's reaction when Joan came back after 20 years? So the answer is, when Charlotte saw Joan, he felt quite miserable, thinking that he would have been leading a comfortable life like Joan had his parents let Madame Henry to adopt him. Number C, here you have to write not more than 50 words. Here you have to compare the attitude of the two hatches with that of the Valens. So the answer is, when Madame Henry offered the two hatches money for adopting their son, they refused saying that it would equal mean they were selling their son. The Valens, on the other hand, gave their son to Madame Henry seeing the future and the happiness of their son after being adopted by Madame Henry. Next question number five, here you have to write serial wise according to the verb given in the box. So the first one will be pointing, second wants, third to pay, number four have sold, number five have kept, number six will have, number seven take, and number 8 will be has been outwitted. Number B will be fill in the blank with an appropriate word. So the answer will be he refrained from. Second, the manager had a long chart with. Number 3, army was called in. Number 4, Sudha is being moved to Chennai office. Number 5, she set about organizing the exhibition. Number six, he was fascinated by the idea of becoming an engineer. Number seven, the child is hard of hearing. Number eight, he changed into his night clothes. Here, number C, here you have to join these two sentences without using and, but or so. So the first one, Ramesh broke his arm. 
he fell down the slope so the answer will be ramesh broke his arm when he fell down the slope second one he finished his work he went to bed so the answer will be having finished his work he went to bed number 3 how shall we get the money i don't know so the answer will be i don't know how we shall get the money number 4 you can ask for anything what you like i will give it to you so the answer is i will give you anything you ask for number d here you have to write the answer according to the instructions given in the bracket so the first one she said if it rains will you go for the party so here to begin with she asked so this is direct and indirect answer will be she asked me whether i would go for the party if it rained second one this is one of the easiest method here you have to use easier instead of easiest so the answer is very few methods are easier than this number 3 only a fool would believe you so here you have to begin none so answer will be none but a fool would believe you number 4 i shall go to the market if you come so here you have to end the sentence with unless you come so the answer is i shall not go to the market unless you come number 5 you remembered to sign the contract didn't you so here you have to begin with you did not so the answer will be you did not forget to sign the contract did you and at the end question mark number 6 I think you should come back tomorrow. Here you have to begin. You had. So answer will be, you had better come back tomorrow. Number seven, Kapil is the best student in the class. So here you have to use better instead of best. So the answer is, no other student in the class is better than Kapil. Number eight, the president rose to speak and there was silence. So here you have to begin when. So the answer will be. when the president rose to speak there was silence so hope the video is helpful to you and if it is helpful to you subscribe the channel to get many more such kind of video thank you have a great day